The Sacramento Metro Chamber's Cap to Cap is a federal advocacy program with a history of success. Every year, the Cap to Cap delegation chooses a few issues that have special regional significance. As the Cap to Cap Chair for 2015, I am pleased that the Sacramento Metro Chamber has chosen water resources as a top priority issue. We have more than 300 regional leaders attending this year's Cap to Cap program. We are here to take on the tough issues that will make California a better place. This year, the necessity to address water resources is like no other in recent memory. With news outlets examining the challenges of California's current drought, the Metro Chamber saw the necessity of addressing water resources in the region. I would say our water supply reliability is what's at stake. Lots of other people want to take advantage of our water. Lots of other people need our water down the system. But if we don't protect our ability to ensure water supply reliability, we won't have any. If you can't store it white, you've got to store it wet. And we need a regulatory paradigm that allows us to manage the wet, which means conjunctive use, which means our ability to share water across jurisdictions. We can put water in the ground when it's running, we can pull it back out when it's dry, and we can manage our reservoirs. With water storage nearly depleted from the extended dry period, the cap to cap delegation is seeking solutions that benefit the common good of all stakeholders. We're advocating for a federal role in a comprehensive plan for the state's water supply reliability. There's really three parts to that. There's an operational plan for the, the federal system that recognizes our water rights and our contract entitlements and provides for those to be available for us. There's infrastructure investments, much of which is gonna come from a local ratepayer base, but some needs to come from the federal government, recognizing the, the broad benefits we can have to the entire system. And then finally, we need to look towards the future and, and prepare proactively for a changing climate um, rather than react when the time comes. The politics of water are very complicated. The regulation of water is very complicated, but the issue is simple. It's all about how do we create water supply reliability for our region. It's that simple. Doesn't need to come from a bottle. We have it. We are the headwaters of the state's water system and the federal water system in California. Until changing weather conditions provide adequate levels of snow or rain, cap to cap delegates are advocating for an integrated solution. Snowpack historically has been a big part of the water supply in California and it's a, it's a really well designed water supply obviously. This year's a good example of, you know, the snowpack is not what, uh, what it has been historically. If we don't have that essentially natural built-in reservoir, then we have to look I think at some real other creative ways to, to utilize the water resources and that includes again some of these off-stream regulating reservoirs that I think could be a very effective to capture rain and uh, keep it for later in the year when we need it. The important thing is really again to be able to utilize the uh, existing facilities that we have. That includes Folsom, Shasta, Lakes, you know the big, the big projects to be able to utilize those in an efficient way. Additional infrastructure throughout the region um, and that in can include uh, obviously some uh, conveyance facilities, pipelines, ability to recycle water and then there's big projects like Sites Reservoir on the west side of the Sacramento Valley. What we're starting to see in the cap to cap is I think the region is really kind of coalescing um, with respect to its water resources. So when uh, we go back to Washington DC and, and start presenting that kind of a coalescing unified uh, position on some of these issues, I think it's really uh, powerful. And I think it's also a positive story. With our cap to cap water resources advocacy efforts, we're not saying what we don't want someone else in the state to be doing. We are here to advocate for what our region needs in order to be a vibrant, healthy community with a strong economy and a healthy environment as we go into the future.